So today's topic is moving from a state of gloom to bloom. Now we all understand, we all go through this gloomy state. Sometimes we see our children, you know, looking a little put off or sad or a little nervous or stressed. And we ask them, you know, why are you looking so gloomy? Right? It's okay to ask others. But what about what all we experience in the process of life that we hold on to it, make it our own, and in you know, and then accordingly we feel either nothing is happening in my life, no movement is happening in my life, or what is happening in my life? Yeah. Uh, by the way, as you know, this is not just a one-way topic. You can ask questions, you can raise your hands. We are having a dialogue here, not a monologue. So what happens is we collect a whole lot of uh, thoughts, feelings, emotions, which are related to the negative part of it. We can be, you know, what is gloom, as I said earlier, it is, it can, uh, you know, show itself as uh, depression. It can show itself as sadness. It can also show itself as uh, anxiety. It can show itself as fears, negative thoughts. Now think about it. If all this, I mean, and more, if all this is in your space, don't you feel sad all the time? Or don't you feel that nothing is working in my life? And don't you feel that I'm not able to move forward because something is either stopping you or is restricting you and it is very easy for all of us to put point fingers at others. But end of the day, it is not others. It is us. If we want to bloom, we have to learn to be like that lotus. And that is the symbol of radical anyway, which is very interesting, isn't it? We have to learn to be like that lotus, which learns to blossom and bloom, even in the dirtiest and the most mucky waters. And the most beautiful blooms, by the way, of lotus are always in the dirtiest waters. Why? It is symbolic. It is a metaphor, definitely. So let us just try and understand what are those factors or areas that we do not understand is gloom, but is influencing our life every minute. You can also give me some. You can write in the chat or you can mention over here. Negative thoughts was one we said. It would be, you know, um, past hurts. Hurts that people have given you hurts that you have experienced or perceived as hurts because of the nature of either dialogue that you may have had with people or elders may have tried to reprimand you as, your, as per your perception. Maybe they were just guiding you, but that reprimand stayed with you because you decided it was a reprimand and it stayed with you and what happened? a little bit of not liking your parents started, rebellion started, or feeling of I'll show them started. The same thing could happen even with friends or colleagues or anyone, relationships. I'll show him, I'll show her. I know what I'm doing. But the hurt that you're carrying inside does not get answered or does not get healed at all. What about limiting beliefs? If you have limiting beliefs, can you give me examples of limiting beliefs because I'm not going to go on talking. I want you to be involved too, please. What do you think are limiting beliefs? So, this is Bhavna, yes, Bhavna? I think, uh, you know, uh, just uh, uh, limiting beliefs around 
your own capability, like being able to, uh, you know, navigate certain difficult situations, like having confidence that you can navigate it. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, continue, continue. Yeah. No, I, I think like for me, especially right now uh, with work, like that's that's my story. It's it's about you know uh, just uh, like it it takes me a while. Like my first reaction to that change okay. is always like self doubt, but then right. I have to work a little bit on myself and be like, why am I e like not even giving myself a chance to like Absolutely. know that I can do this? Like and 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 work with it. So. Yeah, that's that's been my my journey for the past few weeks. And work. because of that, you may be giving rise to a lot of emotions, which yeah. are negative, probably anxiety, probably even jealousy, probably, um, you know, the fear of uh, sort of being seen in front of everybody else who will not understand you. So what happens? Mm -hmm. We are gathering all the beautiful blooms instead of blooms in our life, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just also the feeling of uh, sadness, like, you know, feeling yeah. sad for myself that why am I like putting myself through this? Like, uh, yeah. you know, like I'm, I'm creating this own uh, sort of negative story for myself, you know, Absolutely. where it, the power is uh, within me. So, so there is a level of sadness as well Absolutely. as going through. Not there. only that sadness, there may also be anger within you. But why am I doing this to myself, right? So just see how much we do, how much we keep damaging ourselves. And this is damage. There's nothing else. Because you know it, we know it, we all know it, that what you resist will persist, right? So you will resist letting go of all this. So what will happen? It will persist and remain in your space all the while. Right. So do we need it? No, we don't. So yeah, so we have ways and means and radical thanks to radical. We have very many means to try and get it, you know, rid of it, provided we allow ourselves to heal in the process and let go and surrender to the divine to help us heal and let go of many things. Correct. Yeah. Before I go further, yes, Natanya. I'm pretty similar to what uh, Bhavna has said. I second that. But there's also one more thing that I would like to um, share or probably put as a question about yeah. a situation or the experience that happens mm -hmm. in our life. And uh, for me, it has happened whenever there was a very uh, unfavorable situation, uncertainty. And after that, my... Uh, you know, thought process or the belief system was very limited. I became very scared, started putting up the walls and not opening up anymore, thinking that if it's like this, then it's like this. Right. So I have limited yeah. so much myself from myself yeah. within the divine in me as well as the resources that is available externally, right. which is right. not external. Obviously, it's internal. But right. also, I'm not allowing it in. So I'm very limited, I would say. Right. In such situation, so, ki mere kyun hua? so uh, when you see which situation you have allowed yourself to be in, Natanya, is mm -hmm. it not sort of feeling heavy, burdensome, and at the same time frustrating you and you know, you wondering all the time, why am I not able to move beyond it and why are certain other things happening in my life? Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, I'm just looking at the messages here. So one of us has got operated and, and is in a lot of pain. So that is a physical pain that you are going through. And that pain is part of the process of healing. So there is a brilliance in that pain that you're going through. Because it's a physical pain. So without elaborating further in terms of what kind of surgery it is, there is a need for you to, uh, you know, sort of start thinking about what is the brilliance that is coming out of it? What are the positives that I'm going to gain out of it? What are the, you know, best options that are going to be available to me after I am healed physically because of the surgery and otherwise how your life will move forward? 
I hope that helps and answers your question. Uh, yes, definitely it does. But one more thing I would like to uh, ask um, about is... Okay, okay. Yes, just no, one no. thing, ma'am. Because yeah. I'm operating a lot from fear. Yeah. That has caused so much of me thinking negative. Ma'am, go nahi ja pa rahe, ma'am. So it is because there is a lot of resistance that you may be carrying within yourself without realizing. I know you are keen to heal yourself. I know you're making the effort, but there are those limiting beliefs that have been part of you right from your childhood that are not making it easy for you to let go of certain you know, patterns in your life. We'll work on it. And today, in fact, we are going to work on all these aspects because we are going to talk about, you know, sort of letting it go or rather transforming and transcending it and then awakening something within us at the same time. You let go and you awaken. You let go and you awaken. That is what we are going to be doing today. So if that makes sense, yeah? Absolutely. Thank you so yeah. much. No more so, questions, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, no questions are always welcome. So then, as I said, you know, gloom, the reasons and the factors of gloom. Jai Shankar ji, gloom aap samajhte hai na, udasi ko kehte hai. Hamari zindagi mein udasi kyun rehti hai? Kyun hum usko abne zindagi ka ek kisa bana lete hai? Ha na? Or ye udasi jo hai, ye kiski hai? Kisi aur ki nahi, di hui nahi hai. Uski vaja se aap udas nahi hai. Uski vaja se aap parishan nahi hai. Business thik nahi chal ra hai, to wo business ki galti nahi hai. Usse hone wala jo nishkarsh hai, usse udasi hai. To wo udasi aap ne apni bina li, to business kaya ga, talu mein to bata hoon. Tum udas raho, jab thik ho jau ke tab baat karenge. Right? So worry. We make worry, sadness, anger, Lots of these things, we make it a part of our life, which, as I said, is not needed at all. Easier said, I will agree with it. It is easier said. But at the same time, how, how willing are we? How open are we? How committed are we to ourselves to let it go? Right? So I think I've talked enough about gloom. So instead of talking of gloom, let's go to make it bloom. तो उसको एक फुलवारी बनाने के लिए जैसे एक कमल का फूल होता है जयशंकर जी तो उसके लिए क्या करना होता है आप कमल के फूल को देखिए वो कहाँ उगता है कीचड़ में पर उसको मालूम है उसकी उसकी आस्था और उसका जो पूरा फोकस है वो इसमें नहीं है कि मुझे कीचड़ में रह रहा हूँ मेरी तो जिंदगी बर्बाद हो गई मैं कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता मेरे ऊपर इतना बोझ है दुनिया भर का उसको कोई परवाह नहीं कोई चिंता नहीं वो फिर भी उसमें से निकल के बिल्कुल एक खूबसूरत फूल बन जाता है इतना सुंदर बन जाता है कि हम उसकी पूजा करते सो दैट इज द ब्रिलियंस ऑफ इट आई मीन मेटाफोरिकली आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दैट एवरीथिंग दैट हैपन इन योर लाइफ लुक फॉर मेटाफर्स लुक फॉर मेटाफर्स अराउंड यू यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ सोल्यूशन करेक्ट सो आई थिंक वी शुड नाउ स्टार्ट विद दिटेशन Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in a lot of positive energy and breathe out all your stresses, worries, frustrations, and the energies that do not resonate with you. Breathe in love consciousness and breathe out any resistances that are holding you back from embracing love of life. Breathe in Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I would request everyone to mute, please. Return to normal breathing. 
invoke your healing masters, healing guides, healing angels, your higher consciousness, radical consciousness, <clears throat> love consciousness, prosperity consciousness, money consciousness, your teachers, mentors, gurus, and guides. Seek their blessings, seek their guidance, seek their support. As you continue on your journey, on your life path, learning to give away and let go of all that is causing gloom in your life so that you are able to embrace everything that blooms for you. Collect all your personal energies and thoughts wherever they are in the universe. See them, feel them, centering you, entering you. And when you feel a sense of being centered, take a deep breath to absorb it. And we begin with the recitation. With soul's love, I transform and transcend negative thoughts. With soul's love, I transform and transcend negative thoughts. With soul's love, I transform and transcend negative thoughts. I awaken. Peace and joy. I okay. awaken peace and joy. I awaken peace and joy. With soul's love, I transform and transcend past hurts. With soul's love, I transform and transcend past hurts. With soul's love, I transform and transcend past hurts. I awaken healing and happiness. I awaken healing and happiness. I awaken healing and happiness. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my limiting beliefs. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my limiting beliefs. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my limiting beliefs. I awaken myself to experience boundless joy. I awaken myself to experience boundless joy. I awaken myself to experience boundless joy. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my fear. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my fear. With soul's love, I transform and transcend 
my fear. I awaken my ability to live with confidence and peace. I awaken my ability to live with confidence and peace. I awaken my ability to live with confidence and peace. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my doubts. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my doubts. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my doubts. I awaken my trust in the flow of life. I awaken my trust in the flow of life. I awaken my trust in the flow of life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my anxiety. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my anxiety. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my anxiety. I awaken my trust to embrace calmness and serenity. I awaken my trust to embrace calmness and serenity. I awaken my trust to embrace calmness and serenity. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my anger. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my anger. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my anger. I awaken love and compassion. I awaken love and compassion. I awaken love and compassion. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my sadness. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my sadness. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my sadness. I awaken joy and contentment. I awaken joy and contentment. I awaken joy and contentment. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my worries. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my worries. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my worries. I awaken myself to live in the present moment. I awaken myself to live in the present moment. I awaken myself to live in the present moment. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my stress. With soul's love, 
I transform and transcend my stresses. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my stresses. I awaken balance and harmony within. I awaken balance and harmony within. I awaken balance and harmony within. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my attachments. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my attachments. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my attachments. I awaken my need to experience freedom and detachment. I awaken my need to experience freedom and detachment. I awaken my need to experience freedom and detachment. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my judgments. With soul's love, I transform and transcend judging others. With soul's love, I transform and transcend judging others. I awaken my ability to see beauty in all things. I awaken my ability to see beauty in all things. I awaken my ability to see beauty in all things. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my resentments. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my resentments. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my resentments. I awaken myself with my heart filled with gratitude. I awaken myself with my heart filled with gratitude. I awaken myself with my heart filled with gratitude. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my guilt. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my guilt. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my guilt. I awaken acceptance of myself with love and kindness. I awaken acceptance of myself with love and kindness. I awaken acceptance of myself with love and kindness. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my envy. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my envy. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my envy. I awaken the celebration of abundance in my life. 
I awaken the celebration of abundance in my life. I awaken the celebration of abundance in my life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my frustrations. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my frustrations. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my frustrations. I awaken patience and understanding. I awaken patience and understanding. I awaken patience and understanding. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my resistances. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my resistances. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my resistances. I awaken my ability to flow effortlessly with life. I awaken my ability to flow effortlessly with life. I awaken my ability to flow effortlessly with life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my inner turmoil. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my inner turmoil. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my inner turmoil. I awaken my ability to experience deep and lasting joy. I awaken my ability to experience deep and lasting joy. I awaken my experience, my need to experience deep and lasting joy. Now take a deep breath to absorb these messages of radical. And now, for us to bloom further, we need to accept and embrace certain aspects in our life. And the more it resonates with you, and the more you see it, sense it, feel it, filling your mind, body, and soul, and every other part of your body, organ, cells, muscles, you will start feeling a sense of fulfillment. So recite with me now. I accept and embrace my inner light, releasing darkness and gloom. I accept and embrace my inner light, releasing darkness and gloom. I accept and embrace transformation, allowing me to bloom into growth. I accept and embrace transformation, allowing me to bloom into growth. I accept and embrace hope and joy, nurturing my heart. I accept and embrace hope and joy, nurturing my heart. I accept and embrace my shadow self, integrating wholeness. 
within me. I accept and embrace my shadow self, integrating wholeness within me. I accept and embrace radiant energy, illuminating my path forward. I accept and embrace radiant energy, illuminating my path forward. I accept and embrace challenges as opportunities to grow and strengthen. I accept and embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and strength. I accept and embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and strength. I accept and embrace abundance that surrounds me in every way. I accept and embrace abundance that surrounds me in every way. I accept and embrace confidence and courage, empowering my spirit. I accept and embrace confidence and courage, empowering my spirit. I accept and embrace my true self, unfolding like the lotus. I accept and embrace my true self, unfolding like the lotus. I accept and embrace eternal hope guiding me through life's journey. I accept and embrace eternal hope guiding me through life's journey. I accept and embrace love and light getting rid of darkness and fear. I accept and embrace love and light, getting rid of darkness and fear. I accept and embrace resilience and strength, empowering me to move forward. I accept and embrace resilience and strength, empowering me to move forward. I accept and embrace my unique journey, blossoming into my highest self. I accept and embrace my unique journey, blossoming into my highest self. Take another deep breath. Absorb these messages that you need to accept and embrace. And as you absorb them, recite with me, I peacefully progress, converting my life from gloom to bloom. I peacefully progress, converting my life from gloom to bloom, I peacefully progress, converting my life from gloom to bloom. Stay with these messages. Stay with the consciousness that has helped you understand appreciate, awaken, and absorb these messages. And when you feel a sense of fulfillment, take another deep breath, and you can open your eyes. Take your time.
Okay. So whoever is ready to talk, ask questions, or say anything, or ask anything, the house is open. We still have a lot of time. Ma'am, thank you, thank you, thank you. Grateful gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here for it. And Natanya, you say you are having a lot of yawning. That is a wonderful sign. Whoever is having yawning, you are allowing and letting go and releasing mm -hmm. a lot of toxins. So that is Thank great. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, I've been burping. Wonderful. That's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Releasing. Again, releasing. Absolutely releasing. Burping is one of the... I, yeah. I, mean, I don't want to say it here every time, but burping, the other part of it, yes. uh, sneezing and mm -hmm. uh, yawning, feeling sleepy, and then, you know, wanting to just sleep after this, or even wanting to just eat a lot, because there's a lot of things that have been gone, released from your body, and if you want to eat, go ahead, enjoy, celebrate life. Life is for enjoyment and fulfillment only, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So now I'll take uh, the names as they come up on my screen. Yes, Thank Mahima. You, Ma Thank you. Yes, Mahima, you have something to say? Yes. Uh, it was an amazing session. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And uh, uh, there was a sensation which I'm feeling in somewhere in my... Uh, between my throat and my uh, mid back, mm -hmm. uh, it's a sensation as if it's something is holding me, you know, mm -hmm. that like a reluctance. I don't know what it is. You said it. You said it. It is reluctance. So just work on. I find my resistance to let go of my resistance, and I find my reluctance to step forward. I find my resistance. To, to let go of my resistances. And I archive my reluctance to move forward. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I archive my reluctance to communicate my whatever. You can fill in the gaps. Mm, okay. My need for help or my need for support. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Welcome. Next is Aparna. Yes, Aparna. Ma'am, what a beautiful session. I mean, yeah, every every session is beautiful, but yeah, I have to say it. Uh, but ma'am, uh, one question for you. Um, is it is it also okay to embrace the gloom? Because, uh, you know, all this while I have spent a lot of time being gloomy and I, I uh, you know, for me to change that or transform that immediately is is quite a task and um, I mean with this uh, you know recitation I understood that it can be done so gracefully so is it okay to accept and embrace the gloom as well absolutely because remember Aparna and for all of us unless we accept and embrace uh, all that is you know sort of not working for us mm -hmm. We are hiding behind the screen again. So if, yeah. you know, it's like if there is a, you know, mark on your face or something that you can see. So you know the mark is there. What are you mm. going to do about it? You will maximum try to cover it with makeup for your happiness. But the mark is there. So either you keep covering that mark and saying, because of you, I can't do this. Because of you, I, you know, other things. I'm just taking a very basic example so in the same way anything that is negative in our space it is there we know it but we don't have to energize it we don't have to keep going back to it and saying i'm helpless i'm helpless i'm helpless i'm helpless okay i have been thinking i'm helpless fine i accept it this has been a situation with me now i'm going to move forward so then Amazing. you will start looking for the brilliance in it Amazing, yeah. mom. And and I've been uh, saying that I've been exhausted because I'm actually exhausted. 
but uh, you think saying that energizes it too absolutely anything we say any oh words we utter that is why at radical at least i know other people may be doing it too other mm-hmm. uh, forms of healing but we uh, genuinely try to tell all of you think be aware of your words mm-hmm. be aware of what you're saying many a times we've told our children and i think we've also heard it growing up if you don't study you will not get a good job or you will get a horrible mother in law or you i don't know many other kinds of things we've heard right mm-hmm. parents said it in in you know complete goodwill because they were concerned about us but what happens mm-hmm. these are unwanted unneeded well curses okay Okay. so everything that we say and do like if i keep saying i know i'm never going to get it i'm never going to be happy or i'm never going to be able to go abroad i'm never going to get my you know my position in the company because x y z is already there and i will not get it why because somewhere the universe keeps testing you to see how much you want to grow so if there is a situation where things are not working out for you you understand okay this is happening what is it that i need to work on myself you know for me to be seen to be heard to be understood to be uh, honored to be respected same thing mm-hmm. at home whether it is in laws or family or relationships what is it that i need to look within myself because everything is not there it's here right this is so insightful ma'am thank you so much you're welcome like wow thank you you're welcome it's for all of us i mean i also keep saying it to myself and there's an exercise i keep telling everyone to do whoever comes is to please go and stand in front of the mirror look into the eyes of uh, let's say the you know like you aparna i'll take your example where she yeah Uh, sure, sure, sure. look into the eyes of the aparna who's looking back at you because eyes are the mirror of the soul that is clear okay have you ever noticed and do you realize you don't look at yourself in the mirror you look yeah. at your hair you look at your lipstick you look at your shirt you look at your earrings everything else you don't look at yourself that is your self who is talking to you and what happens do you think you go out to meet the world no that person in the mirror is the one who goes out to meet the world example when you are leaving home and suddenly you say oh my hair it's not looking proper let me put it properly let me make my shirt collar correct etc etc right because that image is the one who has meet the world outside so talk to that those eyes look into those eyes and say i'm capable i'm good i'm healthy i'm lovely i'm beautiful whatever you want to say i'm going to be successful great it's going to happen give yourself a timeline but say positive positive is the need of existence there's no other word for it aparna does that make sense to you absolutely ma'am it feels so enlightening i don't know this particular session especially it's just meant to be i can't uh, explain it in words thank you so much for carrying that to uh, to us okay okay i'll be opening up the circle of peaceful pro- uh, peaceful progress uh, whatsapp do leave your comments over there because based on that then we start building up better programs for you and what else is no sure. all yes. of you this is my request to you when it opens up i'll open it up for you then please to post your comments over there yeah shelly oh, next sh- i'm going i'm going as it's appearing on my screen yeah yes shelly shelly you're muted if you're speaking thank you ma'am you're welcome ma'am i was in very bad pain but i felt healing okay in the end in my status okay take care Okay, so yes, we can talk privately. Okay, so just be at ease and stay with the messages, stay with the positives. Okay. Anjuma, thanks. 
No welcome. Natanya, I'll come back to you later. I'm just going to talk to others first. Uh, this is Shweta. Shweta? Shweta Sharda? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, Shweta? <laughs> ma'am, thank you for the statements. Initially, yes. I was a little comfortable. My legs were feeling very heavy as if some anxiety is coming up. There was pain and lower also there. Yeah. Then Which ma part I, of your leg? Lower part of the leg? The calves? Yeah, yeah ma'am. Around and, the hip and, and okay. the full leg. Yeah, because the calves are the area where you store your grief. That is the area for stored grief, stored pain, stored hurt. Let it go. You don't need it. Ma'am, and the oh. whole leg from the hips, I mean uh, the lower back and legs. So, so for yeah, for that you may look up the body talk uh, okay. very specifically so that you know. So that would require just R fiving it as model. But if okay. while recitation, if it has happened, it's clear that there's a lot of stored either anger or grief or you know um, some kind of unfortunate you know emotions that are stored over there. So take care of that with R five. Do refer to the body talk. And that should work very well for you, okay? Okay, ma'am. Because uh, during the statements, I was like, felt like crying. I was feeling Good. resentment, like I was anger, jealousy coming up. And then, oh. ma'am, at the end, I felt good. Uh, I felt, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe, this, maybe this was there in my space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Good. Good for you. Keep it up. And uh, yeah, this, this recording will be available. You can listen to the recording again later. Yeah. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Yes, Lisa. Lisa. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Tell me. Thank, you. Thank you for the wonderful session. Um, say something uh, apart from this gloomy thing. I want to ask something. Not like sure? I am. Yeah, I'm facing little challenge in leaving my tea habits. So the more mm. I try it, the more I'm taking it. Mm. Earlier I was taking two cups, then I determined that I'll not take it, then I'm taking four cups. Okay. Like, yeah, so uh, I'm just feeling failed. So mm -hmm. whatever. Ah, okay. Uh, what does drinking tea make you feel? Um. I feel that for half an hour, one hour, I'll be energetic. And mm -hmm. sometimes I feel I'm addicted that I need to work, so I need tea. So that is a call from inside that you want to work, you need tea. Right. So there is a thing. Uh, what Are you doing the course also with us, curriculum, uh, Lisa? No, ma'am. This oh. is for in time. I think I'm attending your session. Okay, okay. So uh, just say I R5 my need for addiction I, I am, r5 r my need for addiction i r5 my reasons for addiction and i r5 my resistance to let go of my addictions addiction not addictions you can yes, also work with the same thing I'm not saying it is there, but maybe this is a kind of relief that it is providing you by drinking tea or whatever. Just work on your insecurities because tea gives you that feeling of being comfortable, secure. Okay? So just same thing with the, uh, not using the word addiction, just use insecurity. Get it? And is it is it the same with when we know that we want to work like exercise and yoga and we need to do but we are not doing knowing that it is good but somewhere we have time but we are not doing it so, so why work, this... work on your procrastination okay procrastination also same way i have find my procrastination i have find my need for procrastination I R5 my reasons for procrastination. I R5 my resistance to let go of my procrastination. Work on this. Say each statement at least seven times. Each statement. Okay? And do it for 21 days to start with. Every day. 
specific time or any time I can do it. Any time, no problem. But sit down and do it because you're starting for the first time. Sit down, make yourself comfortable and then do it, okay? Thank you so much. Welcome. So now then we have Sri Vidya. Yes, Sri Vidya. Yeah, hi ma'am. Hello. I just I had no idea of talking, but then uh, I just wanted to tell you that, you know, whenever you say something, I feel that uh, the angel is telling me, you know, through you. It's like whatever the app, whatever I wanted to hear, the same thing you uh, you know, you tell it. So I am so, so grateful, ma'am. I'm like extremely a lot of gratitude for Atman ma'am for the radical consciousness and you are you know doing this uh, wholesome Fridays every time and uh, I cannot express in words so just wanted to say thank you thank you ma'am thank, thank you so much Vidya. but again as I said yeah. we are just facilitators in life and through radical also so we are facilitators if you are eager listeners and wanting to make shifts in your life it's you who are doing it. We are just facilitators. Okay. Thank you so much for, yeah. the, for yeah. the lovely so it's, words. It's, yeah, but if you, it's like humble of you to say that, but definitely you should also no. take some edits. So I, I don't know. I just felt like, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you so you, much. You. Yeah. Uh, Bhavna, you have something to say, Bhavna? Yes, Bhavna. Yeah, I, yeah, just wanted to thank you. It was really amazing. So beautiful. Uh, um, and I, I, I'm feeling really good. I think uh, on some statements, I was, I was just having itchiness over here. I think this is mm -hmm. FR3, so I'll have to yeah. work on that. Yeah. yeah. And then there was some like sensation on my right side. Like I felt extreme lightness on the left. But mm -hmm. there was, you know, on the right side, on the like the entire back, there was mm -hmm. a slight heaviness. But so I think maybe okay. past programming or Absolutely. something. Absolutely, you look at past programming, it. and mm -hmm. because of the right side, it is also maybe in the present times you know, something that may be um, heavy in your space. Whatever yeah. the reasons are, so just look at that. And through yes. the app, just, you know, work on it accordingly. Yeah. Okay? Thank you so much. It was okay. lovely. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. Uh, Shweta, you have something more to say or is there a raise hand from before? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right. So, anyone else have anything? Thank you very much for being here, all of you. Today was really wonderful. I really enjoyed the statements too. And as I said, I'll open up the page, uh, Circle of Peaceful Progress. Please do leave your comments over there, feedback, not comments, and then we'll make better programs accordingly. Okay? Thank you so much.